Uh, hello, my name is Anthony Hall, and in this video, we're going to look at how we can parent cameras to objects, but also get them to track objects and get them to jump between different cameras during when we play the playhead or we render. So I've got this basic scene with one camera in and I've moved one of the little small spaceships to the start. So what I want to do is add a camera to the front of the cockpit as if it's going through the person's eyes. So rather than go to item and add a new camera, what we're going to do is just go to the camera we're on and clone it. The reason I'm doing this is because it's going to clone all the actual settings so we don't have to set it up again. So. To do that, make sure you're on the camera and then go to it says clone and then clone current item. We only want one and then it will add it in exactly the same place. So first thing we'll do is we want to just move it over from the top view and then let's go and find out where about it is. Look here we go. Um, always looking for your camera view as well let's find out where it roughly is so I'm just jumping to the move tool under modify and I'm just going to place it let's have a look so it's looking forward and also if I just zoom right in so it's in line with roughly where the cockpit is in fact well, let's move it back and have it just above maybe like that Let's have a look. so I'm just rotating and moving it so until I'm happy with the position like so let's put VPR on so have a look there we go so it's like it at the front like that of the ship so next we're on the camera I want to parent to the red spaceship. So we go to set up, motion options, where it says parent, choose the red ship. Well, I'm, in your case, it's whatever you're using. So now when I move the actual spaceship, you'll see in the camera view, look, and you see the camera here, it's moving like I want it to. So cool, that's good, I'm happy with that shut that down so now what I want to do is go back to the other camera camera one which is my wide shot and then I'm going to clone it again so let's uh, clone item okay and then this time let's move uh, let's move it to a different just random kind of place where I can rotate it maybe here as a shot so I can jump to this shot at a set time like so so now I've got three I've got the wide the onboard camera and the side camera okay cool so what I'll do now is I'll just animate the ship a little bit very crudely as well so I'm going to do it quite quickly this uh, and so I'll remove it every 30 frames and then just crudely like I said while I'm doing this I'm going to speed up the video so you can see what I'm kind of doing and again so I've got 60 okay so I've got this crude animation <laughs> so I can use it's not going the full length of the track but if I just uh, go to my wide shot and then play you can see down here it's coming round comes round the corner and then it finishes over here somewhere so just over 200 frames so what I want to happen is during the animation I want uh, let's say the wide camera here to track the blue 
at the red spaceship and then also the side camera to track it as well so click on the camera go to setup motion options and I'm going to target the red ship so you can see now it's turning with it all the way as it goes cool let's choose a side camera motion options target the red ship and this is doing the same now so you can see from the side yeah okay so let's start from the with the wide camera and now what I want to happen is I want let me in fact let me zoom in a little bit here so it's a bit more on it close up there we go so what I want is I want it to jump between these three cameras during when I press play and when I render so to do this so to make it jump between the cameras what we do is go to utilities tab at the top go to master plugins and from add layer or scene master go down to camera selector and then it will bring up universal camera selector double click it and you get this so at the beginning I'm on f I'm on camera one so I want to start on camera one so at frame one camera one at frame zero it's saying anyway and I'm going to go along and let's say when it gets to say 90 I want to click on camera two which is the onboard camera and click add so now it's going to jump at 90 to camera two and then let's carry on moving till we get to about let's say 150 and I click on camera 3 and click add so now it's going to jump to there for the rest so let's just rewind and press play so it's going along jumps to the onboard and then back out to the side camera simple as that and when you render as well it will do this as well it will jump to those cameras I know the anim animation is a bit dodgy but this, the general gist of how you jump between the cameras it's so easy and also all the cameras are tracking it and you've got a camera on board with the spaceship uh, parented as well and that's it hope you enjoyed it experiment and see what you come up with thanks for listening